G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with that uh, swipe and tilt. I managed to luckily scrape out 30 grams. That's all I needed, so 30 grams out of my sergeant's uh, bronze. So just enough to do one last pour. So I've got that there, that's my swipe colour. And I'm using the same pouring medium, 70% glue oil, 30% water. These three, the black, the dark green, and the dark blue, I've mixed them two to one. So two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And this one I've thickened up because it's a metallic. Like you guys know I always make metallics thicker, don't you? And I don't know why I didn't. Probably because it felt different to me than the uh, sergeants, it was quite thick. So. Um, as per normal, I have thickened up my metallic, even though it's the swipe colour, which you tend to have thinner, I've thickened it up. So I've gone one and a half times pouring medium to one part paint instead of two to one. So that one's there. Uh, so I've got my navy blue, which is deep space, and the really dark greeny blue colour, which is deep sea, and then I've got my black. So I've just done two to one. I haven't added any water to any of them. I'm going to put the oil in now and um, I'm just going to do two drops in each. I got quite a lot of cells in the last one so let's cut down a bit and just do two in each because as I said in my previous video my mix is thinner it's two to one ratio instead of one to one so when the cells do pop up the resistance on them is much less, so they can spread. So your, your cells tend to grow bigger, there's more of them. They can just pop up and say hi a lot more easily than if your mix was at a one-to-one -one ratio where it's much thicker. So that's the reason. Radio. same as last time, I'm gonna leave a little space at the top for my navy, uh, my swipe color, my bronze. So let's just pop some of this on. So I want some navy up there next to the bronze and then I want some of the green up there next to the bronze. And then some green down here between the navy, like so. I'd actually take that navy a little bit higher. Scrape it all out. made up an extra 20 grams of the navy just because I really like the the blue in here more than I like the green so the black and the navy I did 60 grams of pouring medium and half of that so 30 grams of paint and then with the navy I did 80 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint, half of that. And with my metallic, I did, let me look at my notes, 50 grams of pouring medium, and I did 35-ish grams of paint. Right, so those are my colors. Now, put some black on the bottom. It feels a little bit thicker than the others. Always does, the blacks. Have a little bit of a wriggle through there. Maybe a little bit up here too, hey? Why not? Okay, so let's get to tilting. Cover the whole surface. Try and leave a gap at the top for your swipe colour. So I've got about 400 grams of mixed paint for this size. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch. You need about between 350 and 400 grams of mixed paint. I tend to make a little bit extra so that I can then, you know, tilt it off, cover my sides. All right, messy business it is. 
Alrighty. Uh, where's my little tool here? I'm just gonna fix up my corners real quick. And this one can have a bit of green on it. They don't have to, to match, you know, your, your sides. But if you want them to, feel free. Oop. Okay. Now, the swipe colour has got no oil in it. If you want to, you can put oil in your swipe colour and not in your other, your other colours. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to get cells. So you can do whichever way you prefer. Just making a bit of room there. Taking too much off now. Righto, let's do this. This is going to be really thick. But as I said, I do want that lacing that I didn't get in the last one. So let's pop lots of paint on there. I've got a little bit left over for my edges. And I think I'll just... Well, it's not much left over, is there? Not much in my little cup. Might have to pick that up. Go around the other side and see what that's looking like. Make sure I've got it all covered. And I'm hoping to get a nice thick layer of the metallic over the top. You can see how it's, when it drips, it just sort of sits in a big blob. Hopefully I haven't made it too thick now. But I'm going to stretch it. So if it's too thin, as you saw in my last video, the swap colour was a bit too thin. Um, and so when I stretched everything, I kind of lost it. Um, if you're just doing a normal swipe and you're not tilting afterwards, then by all means have a thinner mix. You need a thinner mix. But for this, I need a thicker mix for this particular technique of uh, in acquiring, I should say, lacing. Right, here's my bit of plastic. Now I'm going to touch it into the bronze. I just want a little bit more there. Touch it just into the bronze. Try not to let it touch your other colours. Because you want to drag the bronze over the other colours. You don't want to drag everything off. So mate, remember to put one foot behind the other so you don't fall over when you lean back. Don't go right up to the very edge. Or you will have a bit of a bald canvas. Once you start, don't stop. Otherwise the plastic will drop down. And you'll get a bit of a dent. And wipe that off. Okay, well that's looking much better than the previous one. Got a good coverage of the bronze there. The other one, it was more like this all over, wasn't it? If you saw that one. I was kind of debating whether or not to put the other one up, the other video up, because, you know, sometimes I only like to show you good things, but quite often, as you know, I do show you my flops and my tries my scrapes, I show you the good, bad and the ugly. And I think people appreciate that and I'll just show you the things that work. I'll show you how I got to those things. Right, let's torch. So I'm not really expecting to get much up here in this thick bronze, but I'm gonna pop some bubbles and just torch up there anyway. Don't overheat it, you don't want to melt it. So over here we've got half that's much thicker and you're getting more in the way of cells. This half is, the bronze layer is much thinner and we're getting more lacing there. So that's the difference. And I don't mind that, having the two different looks. Uh, once I start tilting, I'm going to change the look of it anyway. Uh, I can already see that this mix is much better. The thickness of my swipe colour is much better. And I think that'll do. I don't want to over-torch. 
My cells are nice little shapes. So same as last time, tilting that way to get this big band of bronze off. Stretch all this out a little bit. You don't have to, you can leave your swipe just as is, but for the sake of the tutorial where I'm showing you how to get lacing, this one's going a lot faster again, this side. It's most likely because it hasn't got as much paint on it, hey? It hasn't got as much um, of the bronze. I'm gonna see if I can get the paint to go that way a little bit first. No, I don't think I will. I'm just gonna go straight over. I don't want to stretch things out too, too much. I'll go to this corner first because I'm almost there. Not leave just a little bit of bronze there, just for kicks. Why not? Now, this is going to be the trouble section here. I'm trying to get rid of that without stretching out all of this gorgeousness. Bring the weight of the paint back a bit. Let's see if I can change directions. This car just pulled up. I think I'm going to have to stop. I want to get to this corner first. I hate being rushed. Someone's come to pick up their painting. Wasn't expecting her for another hour, but let's leave that like that. Let's leave that bit of bronze on the corner. Straighten everything up just a touch. Actually, those are looking a little bit overstretched. I'm going to have to just take those off. Okay, she's at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Hang on one sec. I'll pause this. I'll come back to you. Okay, that was Linda. She just popped in to pick up her paintings from a previous workshop. So I've got some clean gloves on. So what do you think? It's, um, it's much better than the last one, isn't it? I've got a lot more of the bronze showing through. I've got this beautiful lacing in the middle. It's still quite busy. Um, and considering the amount of oil I put in there, it wasn't very much oil at all, is it? I'm just going to finish my composition since I was interrupted there. I actually quite like these blocks of bronze on the corners. So a thicker bronze here over the top. And you can see that hazing. I'm not going to torch again, I guess. Actually, I wonder what it would look like if I just torched in there. Then over on this corner, we've got a lot of the navy blue. The navy and the dark green dry a lot uh, darker. So they will, yeah, they'll, they'll change. They'll uh, dry a lot darker. I will show you the finished dry product in a few days when, uh, when it's all done. I'm just going to put a little bit of black on the edges here where it's kind of the um, the plastics kind of pulled the paint over the edge and you can sort of see a little bit of the the canvas I'll have to work out a way of actually pulling the plastic down and over the edge without balding the canvas but it's a bit tricky to do I'm just going to paint that whole side black Oh, look, that works. Let's put that like that and run my stick across the top like that. That works. It's not ideal though. Now I can see the black on top. I might have to see what I can do about that. Maybe I can, I don't know, try and smooth it over a little bit more. Not sure what I can do. Yeah, actually finger painting seems to work better than putting a thick layer of black on there. 
should have done that with the rest of it. That works better. I'll take a little bit of it off maybe. Oops, now I'm balding it again. All right, I'll stop playing. Take you in for a close-up. I'll just wipe underneath. Fix that little corner, wipe under there. Didn't have to, actually I didn't have to put bronze on there at all, did I? I do that when I just swipe down and I was forgetting that I was tilting over it so I didn't need to do that at all, silly woman. Just trying to open up this lacing. Because I only basically stretch in one direction, my lacing tends to be a little bit squished that way. If I kind of tilted both ways, uh, my lacing might open up a little bit, but anyway, that's it. I'll show you the one that I did just before this one so that you can see the difference. It's still pretty, it just doesn't have as much of the bronze in it, so the other colours are popping through more. So this one was a ratio of 2 to 1, pouring medium to paint in the bronze, and this one, the bronze is much thicker. It's one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So that's more of the look I was going for. Um, I guess I could thicken it up even more and add even less silicone. That was only what, six drops in the whole thing. But thickening up more will, will help. So there we go. Oh, what am I doing? I was taking it away to put it down on the floor to take a photo. Not yet, Julie. Let's take you in for a close up. And then I'll put it on the floor for a photo. I just put it in front of the window down there. I just have a pedal pad down on there on the floor in front of the window and I pop it on there and that's where I take my photos. I don't do anything special to them. If they look a little bit washed out and maybe not the correct colour, I'll brighten them just a touch, a little tiny touch of contrast, but that's all I do to them. I don't digitally alter them in any way. Oops, start again. It was looking a little bit light. Let's go down a bit closer, hey, then you can see. Looks much lighter down here. It's not that light. It's quite, it's quite dark. I wish I could change my colour on here, but I can't. Okay, so there it is there. that lacing in the middle there it looks really pale and sickly there but it's not it's really bright it's just the light I don't know why it's doing that I'm going to turn off my big bright light for a sec and see if it makes a difference I can't unplug it with one hand no I can't do it all right let's go this way No, see it changes, it changes from there. That's a natural looking painting. And then as soon as I get closer, it goes all pale. Bizarre. All right, I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a go at this. Swipe and tilt. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.